I'm here today with John Kay, columnist for the Financial Times, visiting professor at London School of Economics, and the author of Obliquity, now about to be released in the United States on Penguin Press. John, thanks for being here today. Thank you, Rob. So, tell us, what, what, are, what are you telling us in this book? <laughs> Obliquity is the idea that complex goals are often best pursued indirectly. And the result of that is that the happiest people are not the most aggressive in the pursuit of happiness, whatever the founding fathers of your country may have had to say about it. Uh, the most profitable companies are typically not the most profit-oriented and the wealthiest people are not actually the most materialistic. Why, why is there such indirection? What, how do you, how do you it, do that? It, it is a paradox, isn't it? And one of the ways I encourage people to think about is to take the rather remarkable story of the spacecraft, the messenger spacecraft, that NASA's just put into orbit round about Mercury. And although Mercury is only, I say only because we're getting used to large numbers with the bank bailouts and so on, is only 50 million miles from Earth, uh, the space shuttle, the spacecraft has actually traveled five billion miles in order to get there. That's a hundred times as much. And it's orbited the Earth once, Venus twice, and Mercury three times before it's actually reached its destination. And if you ask why they've done that, when you start thinking it through, you can see the direct approach doesn't work. If you fire a rocket straight at Mercury, uh, then either you hit Mercury, which is not a lot of use if you want to photograph it, or your spacecraft travels straight past Mercury and disappears somewhere into the, out into the solar system. You can only approach this goal by achieving it indirectly. Well, you wouldn't want to uh, rob the salesman of being able to sell the used spacecraft on the lot after this is over. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. But there's something else that's worth noticing about this, which is that NASA uh, were actually able to do this. They weren't sure they could do it, but they have. Uh, and the reason they were able to do it is that they seven years ago, when they launched the craft, it took seven years to reach its orbit of Mercury. Seven years ago, when they launched the craft, they knew more or less exactly where Mercury was going to be in uh, March 2011. Now, if you think about it, we don't often have that kind of certainty about the future. In fact, in the world in which we occupy, we have that certainty about hardly anything except the motion of the planets.